So we have added a new endpoint to set the primary photo in our previous video. Let's add one more API endpoint to delete any existing photo in this video. So most of our code is uh, going to remain the same uh, as the set primary photo method uh, for delete method as well. Let's copy this method and make the required changes for the delete photo method. Change the API endpoint URL. Let's replace it with delete hyphen photo. Uh, there will be no changes in these arguments. Uh, we still need property ID and photo public ID for this method as well. So the URL uh, will look something like this. Method name uh, will be delete photo. And validation will also remain the same. We still need to check if property exists or not. And we should return an error uh, in case of property does not exist. And we also need this check uh, that the property should only be deleted by the user who had posted the photo. Let's change this error to you are not authorized to delete the photo in case a logged in user is not the same as the one who had posted the photo. This error is also needed if uh, the provided photo does not exist. Uh, we can keep this check or we can remove it at all. But I would like to keep at least a primary photo of any property and would like to give the error message. Uh, you cannot delete the primary photo uh, if the user is trying to delete the primary photo. So in case you want to delete the primary photo first, uh, you will have to set another photo as primary uh, photo. This code is setting the primary photo. So we do not need this code here. In place of this, uh, we need to delete the photo. So we have the reference of photo uh, that need to be removed from the database. We can delete the photo like this property dot photos dot remove and pass the photo object as parameter here. Here in place, uh, we can return OK status if the saved uh, method is successful. And in case uh, there is any error, we need to return a bad request saying failed to delete photo. Here as we are deleting photo, uh, we can use HTTP delete in place of HTTP post. So up to this point, uh, we have deleted the reference of photo uh, from DB only and photo still exists on the cloud. Next, we need to update our photo service and we will add a new method uh, to delete the photo from the cloud. So go to the photo service class. Where it is? Mm, yep, here it is. At present, uh, we just have a method uh, to upload photos here and we need to add the delete photo method as well. This class is implementing the iPhoto service interface and this is what uh, we are using in our application because we are using a dependency injection to use this service. So uh, we should add the delete photo method signature in this interface first. Uh, so the signature uh, of this method should be like this. It should return a task of type deletion result uh, that will contain all the information about the deletion results like errors or success messages uh, that we need uh, in our application. Uh, this is the type uh, provided by the cloudinary uh, .net .action namespace. Uh, let's name it delete photo async and this method uh, should accept the public ID of the photo that we are going to delete uh, from the cloud. Let's implement this method in our photo service class now. Uh, you can press the control dot and select this implement interface. Uh, it will automatically add the methods uh, that are not implemented yet. So this method has been added. Let's implement the same here. Our library uh, provides a method to delete the photo. And in that method, we need to pass delete parameters. It provides a class that we can instantiate here for deletion params and pass the public ID as parameter here. Now we can delete the photo and we can get the deletion result in a variable uh, that can provide the information about deletion success or failure message. And Cloudinary library provides us destroy async method uh, to delete the photo. And we can pass the delete params here as the parameter. Let's return the result here as a response uh, that we will use to display an error or success message in our controller. 
So now our photo service provides us a delete method as well uh, that we can use in our property controller uh, to delete the photo from the cloud. So here uh, before removing the photo from the database, let's remove it from the cloud. Let's get the result in a variable and call photo service dot delete photo async method that we just have added in our photo service and pass the photo public ID as parameter that we will receive from our user. That's it. Let's check if result dot error is not null. That means some error occurred at cloud level. Uh, we should return bad request and we can return result dot error dot message as error response. So our delete photo functionality is completed uh, with all exceptions handling and removing the photo from both places uh, from cloud as well and from database as well. So let's test the functionality next. Go to the postman. So our delete uh, photo endpoint is similar to the set primary photo. Let's save this method as delete photo. Uh, this new method is added here. Let's change it as per our new API endpoint. We need to use the HTTP delete verb here. And here uh, we need to use delete photo. That's it. So let's try to delete the photo for this property. Uh, there are two photos here and uh, let's delete this one. Let me copy the public ID of this image. And this one is the ID of property. So first parameter is the property ID. And the second one is public ID of the image that we want to delete. Let's submit this request. Yep, request is successful. Let's check it in the application uh, if the photo is deleted or not. Refresh the page. Yep, now there is only one photo here. Uh, that means a photo has successfully been deleted. Let's verify it on the cloud as well. But I didn't remember the photo that was deleted. So I am not sure uh, if it was deleted or not. Let's try one more time and try to delete this last photo as well. And here on the cloud only one such photo exists. So we are sure uh, that this uh, will be the unique ID of that photo that is appearing in our Angular application. Let's copy this unique ID by pressing Ctrl C and paste it here. Submit the request. Yep, it is successful. Refresh the page. Perfect. The last photo is also deleted from here. And if we go to the cloud, this was the photo that we just had deleted. So refresh the page and it should disappear from here as well. Yep, the photo is deleted from the cloud also. So our positive test case is working fine. Uh, let's check a few negative test cases as well and uh, try to delete this primary photo now. Uh, copy the public ID. And paste it here. Yep, we are getting a bad request that you cannot delete the primary photo. And if we try to delete a photo uh, that does not exist. Perfect, we are getting error. Uh, no such property or photo exist. Let's check the last test case and try to delete a photo of the property that is not posted by our demo user. So 55 is the property ID that is not uploaded by the demo user. And yep, we are getting an error that you are not authorized to delete the photo. So all of our test cases are working perfectly. Uh, up to this point, we are just doing these activities of uploading, setting primary photo and deleting photo uh, using the postman only by calling the different API endpoints. Uh, we do not have any uh, user interface uh, at this point. So next, uh, we will update our Angular application to add a user interface uh, to do all these activities in our Angular application. So stay tuned uh, for the upcoming videos and bye bye. Take care.